Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And welcome, everybody. This is The Carter Show. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Carter TV. I'm back with part two, Angels of Death. Now, y'all know Chelsea got it out alive. Her friends died. They got killed off. She escaped with her child to another city. Um, she went somewhere like South Dakota and started all over again. She thought in another city in the state, nobody gonna know. Boom. So the way she started out in another city, right? What she did was she went out looking for potential new girls. So she went to a high school. Um, she wandered around the school. She ran into like girls who was drifting off, walking by themselves. She came across Donna. One girl, her name was Donna. She came across Sade, another young lady. And she came across another girl. Her name was Su Young. Now Su Young wasn't Asian. Um, Su Young was actually black. Donna was actually Spanish. And Sade, Sade was Mexican. Now these three girls did not know each other, but they all went to the same school. They didn't hang in the same crowd. Su Young was a gothic girl. Um, Donna was the popular girl to school. And Sade was an athlete. Now these three girls, the only thing they had in common was the fact they went to the same school. Um, what Chelsea did was walk up to all three of them, separate times, separate days, introduced herself and basically asked these girls if they wanted to make money. Now this money, she was telling them they could make with the potential to be for school. You know, if they want to save up and get a car, save up and start a business maybe after school. She was feeding them, you know, the hot hand. You know what I'm saying? She was feeding them that shit that any young girl would want to hear. Oh, you could look fly. You can get the latest gear without asking mommy and daddy. This and that and the third. Now, all girls agreed to each of what they heard. More than them may have heard, or oh, I can get money on my own. I can ask my mom and dad. Cool. Or oh, I can get money for the things I really want. Cool. Um, one of them may have heard, damn, I can start a business with this money. I can do good. So they all met up at a diner with Chelsea, right? They all met up. And when they all met up at the same time, they was like looking at each other like, don't I? like they all looked at each other like they was like familiar with each other, but didn't know from where. So Chelsea finally arrives at the meeting and she basically tells him, I met y'all, I met all y'all. And the only thing I have in common is the fact that y'all go to the same school. Now all the three girls are looking at each other like, we all go to the same school? Like, and you could tell each girl was different by the way they all were dressed and the way they were acting. You know what I mean? So Chelsea basically was putting them on game. She was like, this is how y'all can make this money. She gave them a whole rundown and everything. And she also told them when shit get too hectic, it's okay to walk away from whatever money you was going to get. Trust me, that money ain't worth losing your life over. That's something she kept running by them multiple, multiple times. No matter how much the big the money is, if the situation is too dangerous, get out of there. Get out of there. She ran this by the girls numerous occasions, right? Now, the girls used to hear it and say, well, why should we be saying that? Why should we be saying that? She said it the first day she met us. Cool. So she started training them on how to look for the potential guys with the bag. And she said, go for the drug dealers. That's where the money is. Sue Young was like, she was, for a girl who was gothic, she knew a lot. She had a lot of information. She was one of those girls that liked the, she likes information. So she was one of the girls that liked to gather information. Where you got Sade, who was more athletic, one want to move around. And you got Donna, who just wanted to be pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty. You know what I mean, so you got three girls from different, different fields of operation. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, Sade's dad was actually in the military, so she knew about guns and stuff like that. Whereas, you know, Sue Young learned about Wall Street because her dad worked, there. her mom worked on Wall Street. And Donna's mother was like, like, um, 
her mom was just like into beauty passions and everything. So she knew a lot about makeup, fashion. She knew that type of stuff. Now, like I said, all three girls was different in their own little way. But they had one major goal, and that goal was to get money for whatever they needed that money for. Sade wanted the money for so she can go to a good school, you know, play for a good team, and make it make it further in life. She wanted to go to the WNBA. Um, Sue Young, she basically wanted to be a billionaire. She wanted to work her way up to making a billionaire, and that could help her towards her dream. You know, people with information is, is valuable. And that's one thing she learned with her mom is information is very valuable. Where Donna wanted to win, you know, beauty, beauty queen of the month. She wanted to do magazines. She wanted to do fashion. She wanted to be a designer as well. So all these girls had dreams. Yes, and they have dreams. And she and they shared them with Chelsea on different types of occasions. Um, they shared their dreams with her and Chelsea was basically pushing them towards making this money. So what Chelsea would do is take them out on the street, a regular day, examine the area. Now, Chelsea wasn't familiar with this, but she had to get to know the area. That's where Sue Young came in and shared information on the areas. She was like, this is the area, that's the bad area full of, you know, violence. So Chelsea like, we're going to go to this area. So the old girls is like, oh, you got to go to this area. This is the area where we're going to start making the money. We're going to branch out. They would look for the potential drug dealers, the ones on the block, the ones that will walk up to you and ask you, well, I got what you looking for. I got weed. I got this. I got that. I got this. I got that. You start at the little guys first and you work your way up. So they came across a few drug dealers in different parts of that, the, the area they was in. And one particular drug dealer, he ran the whole, he ran the whole area. And he was the major person. And Sue Young found that out after three days of being in the area. She found out he's a major dude. He moves major weight. He got money. He got warehouses. And that was their first target. Um, with this going on, they started to make a move. Um, being that Donna felt like she was the prettiest, she wanted to take the lead on it. Now, mind you, these girls are still young. These girls are still in high school. You know, 14, 15, and 16 years old girls. Um, and they're in the street life right now. They're listening to Chelsea, this random lady who offered them to make money her way. So basically, Chelsea was pimping them out. Um, she was trying to look for a way to make her bread back that she lost when she was with her own girl so she could feed her and her, her family. So she used these girls. They made moves um, to the major drug dealer. And Donna basically was moving fast. This girl was a, she was a pretty girl, but she was also fast. She had sex with this man, sucked him off and all that. And he threw us some bread. You know what I mean? So Chelsea always told them, you don't have to have sex with these guys. You play like you do it. You drug them and you get the money and you get out. That was the, that was the point of the plan. Not to have sex with these guys. So she, she was mad at Donna for that. That she had sex with the guy, but Donna was like, it was easier for me to move that way. And she basically told Sade and Sue Young was like, I don't want you to have sex with these guys. I'm not, I don't want you to feel like I'm prostituting you out. That's not how this game works with me. I didn't have to have sex with these guys to get their money. All I did was have to lead them on and think they're getting what they want, drug them, and get up out of there. Those two girls took the information and they used it to their best ability, where Donna was just showing her ass and one of the guys ends up taking her and pimp her out in which where she disappeared from the group and it, it kind of bothered Chelsea because Chelsea was she, she felt responsible for her. so they couldn't find her for about a good three months you know it was coming towards the end of the school year and they couldn't find her kind of find out she'd been pimped out the first dude that they encountered he put her on to somebody else. And that somebody else was a pimp and he was very abusive. So he took her, put her on the wing, sent her to these little clubs. And being that she was young and she had a nice body, it was easier for her to bring in the bread. You know what I'm saying? It was easy for her. She didn't want that. She didn't want to be smacked around and then used as a sex slave. But being that they lost communication with her, Sue Young ended up finding her. 
she ended up going back to the same dude that Donna was with, finessing him, drugging him, getting information out of him. And she got a, the dude had got a phone call. When he got drugged, he got a phone call from the same dude that had Donna. So Sue Young took the information and did. Now, while that was going on, another guy was watching Sue Young, watching her closely, right? Watching how she was moving. She he seen that she got that she you know he robbed his boss, and he she he followed her, or whatever whatever he followed her. Being that he followed her, he followed her all the way back to where Chelsea and him was meeting. Followed her there, and Sue Young was like, "I got information on Donna. I know where she at." This and then the third, the guy heard that, made a noise, and they saw him and they chased him. He ended up getting away. So. What happens now is the guy takes the information and he tries to go back to the dude. The dude was drugged up and he ends up overdosing and dying. So they was like, fuck, he died. The gang was mad. But the dude was like, I know who did it. I know who did it. I know who did it. Come on. We, I know what the girl looked like in the whole nine. With that information, Sue Young had to lay low because they all found out he was dead. So... They couldn't find the girl. They couldn't find Sue Young for about a couple weeks. They couldn't find her. They didn't know where she was at. Nothing. Right? So the boy, girl, sister. You know, the boy who saw his his boss die, overdose on whatever on whatever drug he had. His sister went to the same school as Donna, Sue Young, and Sade. And she was talking about how this dude died and all that. And Sade is hearing this. And she's talking about her brother. And she basically telling him, like, oh, my brother in the street life, she, you know, she's talking too fast. You know what I'm saying? And Sade learned from Sue Young is information is valuable information. So she took that piece of information, was like, I know who her brother is, and I know who his sister, I know who his sister is, and ran with that. She kept that in a way as like a plan B. I'm going to take that information, I'm going to hold on to it just in case I need it for a rainy day. Um, She ends up following the girl after school. To where she lives at. So where she lived at, the brother was also there. Boom. That information they found out. Um, a major event in a, in a town happened where everybody would come out, show out, like a car show. The whole community goes out there. You even have prostitutes out there. And this is where they thought they probably would have found Donna. Donna wasn't there. She was at an underground event where they was doing fights, gambling, and all types of other shit going on. She was at that event where one of the prostitute girls was, you know, was upset about it because she wanted to go to that event. That's where the big money was. Sue Young, Chelsea, and Donna, not Donna, and uh, Sade hear this and was like, where's that information? Where's this club at? And they had to tell them. And the bitch was like, I don't give out information for free. So Sue Young whips out $100 and says, bitch, get to, get to talking. So she get to talking, told them where it is, and told them that they need a, a code to get in there. And the only ones that know it are the people on the inside. So they get there. They get to the spot. They see a dude walking up there. He's in and out the spot. So what they decide to do is change into some decent clothes, look more sex appealing, flirt with the guy, and get the guy to get them down in there. And once they get him in there, they're going to separate from him. They go in. They, the plan works. So Chelsea was just like, work the room and see if you can find out. They worked the room. They worked the room. Some random guy looks at Chelsea and recognizes her. But he don't know where from. So he spends time thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Um, about two, three hours later, they regroup and they don't find Donna. What happens now is the curtains go off and the show takes off. And the strippers come out. You know, the dancers and all that. Donna is one of the performers. So the girls are taken back. I'm like, oh, there she goes. There she goes. So the dude who recognized Chelsea, right, recognized Chelsea, he's looking at her. He walks up to her. He's like, eh, don't I know you from somewhere? She's like, no, you don't know me. But what could I do for you? He's like, I feel like I know your face. I feel like I've seen your face. You from New York? So she like, of all places, why I say that one? You might be right. So the guy, you know, he reneges on what he's saying and he fall back. You might be right. I might have the wrong your lady. My apologies. Enjoy the rest of your day, man. And he walks away. 
Chelsea don't pick up on it. She been in the game long enough to know when a person come up to you on that type of time and he recognize you, he know, and now he going to regroup and get his more information done. And when he find out, he's going to come for you. It ain't doing her. Remember, she old the head now, so she not thinking like that no more. She thinking about the girls. The girls end up finding Donna. They see that Donna going backstage because her performance is over. They go back there to get her. Her pimp comes, smacking her. Sade, who's the athlete and more of the fighter, she beats the man up. Woo! That's my friend, this and the third. These girls end up building a relationship over time. So that, they found her, and her family's also been looking for her too. So what happens now is as they get her back, the guy comes back that recognized Chelsea. He comes back with two, two other guys. I knew I recognized you. You used to be part of that group, Angels of Death. Girls back at home who was robbing drug dealers and drugging them and killing them. You must have killed homeboy back in the peas. So another dude who remember who, who followed Sue Young, he was also at that gambling spot. He he saw he saw Donna perform. Went back there also. So they're exchanging words. The dude bomb sent to them was like, wait a minute, how he he's caught in the middle of fire. He was like, yo, the dude asked him, he's like, yo, you know them. He's like, nah, I'm not. Wait, I know this one. She was there when the big homie died. That was the girl that drugged him. So they was like, this the clit right here. So the pimp finally comes too. He was like, oh, okay. So the girls is outnumbered. It's like five, six guys and four of them. You feel me? These guys is about to go to work on them now. Chelsea like, get out of here, y'all. I got this. So the guys think, you think you're going to take us on? Just you? Sade step up the plate and she back out a whole AR from out her drawers. She pulls out her old AR. 16. She said, no, she ain't going to do this alone. And she backs out and let that shit rip like this. And she's spinning. The guy's like, oh, shit, ducking. So everybody else in the spot here, the shots go off. And they start running, ducking. So Sade make a way for the girls to get up out of there. They run and they get up out of there. What happens is Chelsea ends up getting caught by one of the security guards and them jumping on her and they racking her up. The plan was to just to get Donna back to her family. They accomplished that, also leaving Chelsea behind. Chelsea ends up getting caught. They end up torturing Chelsea, smacking her around, this and that and the third. They end up killing Chelsea and leaving her body on the street. So now she was left with her. The only thing that she left behind was her son, who didn't know nothing. Her son at the time was 14. He was around the same age as these girls. And he learns of what his mother was doing from back at home. Uh, when he get a phone call from his pops. Pops letting him know the situation. Because, uh, uh, you know, the family back at you know, New York. Found out that she was dead. They reached out to the family and left the son on the streets type shit. So he was a he was a lost cause. He got Donna back to her family. Her family was grateful to have her back. Sade wanted to, once they found out about Chelsea, Sade wanted to go take revenge. You know, she wanted to go because this lady brought a whole new world to them. They was making money. They was doing so much better. They got their friend back. Life was smooth. She died protecting those girls. And they also learned that she had a son. Um, the son was like, I be seeing you girls at my house. Who are y'all? It's like, we work for your mom when your mom put us on a game. And the son was like, the angels of death. Y'all trying to become them again? And the girls ain't know what that was. So Sue Young looked it up, found out information on his mother. And wondering why one of the dudes recognized her. It all made sense. She used to rob guys the same way. And she basically was using the girls to make this money back up so she could pour her son. They understood it. They didn't like it, but they 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 recognized it and respected it at the end of the day. It almost cost Donna her life. Donna was grateful to be back with the girls and her family. They wanted to go out and get revenge. The son was with it. That's my mother and I'm going with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So what happens is the girl at the school, remember, 
Sade knew who she was. They followed her to her crib. And at this crib, the brother and his sister lived there and they were taking care of the grandmother who was sick. So Sade thought it may be evil, but we got to do what we got to do. The son ain't hesitate. He barged in the crib, smacked the girl up. They told her, tie him up, tie her up. We're going to use her. The grandmother, we're going to use them. The brother walked in and didn't hear nobody in the crib. He walks into the kitchen and the little, and the, you know, Chelsea's son sitting there. So he like, who the fuck is you? He told him to have a seat and he showed them his phone. He said, listen, have a seat. Look at that picture. You want to see them again? You better start fucking talking. So the dude like, I ain't answering you. This shit could be fake. Boy, get the fuck out of my crib before I'll kill you in here. He back out his little gun. Shot A. Sue Young pop out from the back. They pop out with glocks in their hand, pointing to his head. He, The son told them, sit down. Sit down. We got some things to discuss. Who your boys and who killed my mother? Boy ain't want to give nothing up. So the boy was on his torture and shit because he found out that they tortured his mom. They tortured my mom. I'm going to torture you. So he had the girls tie him up. They dragged him in the basement of his own crib. And he started torturing. He started cutting off his fingers. He started cutting off his toes. The man was bleeding out. And he said, the next thing I cut off is going to be your manhood. And I'm going to shove it up your ass. So the dude was like, come on, man. Come on, man. Not my fingers. Not my grandma. My sister. That's all they got. He said, start talking. He cut off about four fingers from each hand. He cut off about all his toes. The man was like, fuck it. I'm giving up. I only got one finger on each hand. Fuck it. I ain't going out like this. He eventually gave them up. The dudes. And he set up the plan for the dudes to all meet. So he can buy from them. But instead of buying, the three girls were going to be there. The three girls was going to end up being there. And each dude that was in that, that situation that happened to Chelsea all got taken care of until it was the last two dudes. Um, the dudes who recognized Chelsea and it was another guy. It was another guy. And each guy was getting scared because the girls was leaving behind an angel of death call to let the guys know we're coming for y'all. Um, they end up catching the last dude, right? They end up catching him, having a shootout with him in a warehouse and everything. It was like mayhem in that motherfucker. They end up doing that. They end up killing the dude. Cops come in. They start arresting drug dealers. They found drugs all over the place. They kind of took down a major bus in the city when it happened. These three girls. And it hit the news. And the news reporter was saying, thanks to the angel of death, all the drug dealers in the, in the neighborhood are, are no more. And basically, the police chiefs and all of them was thanking them. Was saying, thank y'all, ladies of death, whoever y'all are. Appreciate y'all. Now, the three girls end up graduating high school and going their separate ways. The son ended up dating Sue Young, having a kid with him, moving out the city and going back to New York, you know, to be with his father and, you know, have that New York feel back. Donna ended up going into passioning and designing. Sade ended up going to uh, another college in Atlanta, playing for the team. Sue Young and the, and the boy got married. She ends up being um, on Wall Street where she wanted to be making big money. And they decided the angel to deaths of being no more. Wow.